Hi, my name's Tanya, and uh, I've been waiting for a long time to start a vlog or a video journal. Uh, the reason it took so long? Well, I suppose I was waiting for perfection. Waiting for the right time, the best circumstances, waiting for my home and spaces to be clean and decorated. Perfect. <laughs> waiting for my health to improve, uh, my mind to have the clarity that it used to have. Waiting for the perfect everything the perfect storm so that I can appear more than I am. Better, prettier, funnier, thinner, more eloquent than I am at present. But here I am throwing caution to the wind. I've called my vlog Tanya's Table. The reasoning behind this is that a table is where people come together to share a meal, to brainstorm, to have great conversation, uh, and to share ideas. Sometimes I'll have guests and we'll have a discussion with them about different topics. Um, I hope that we can build a community together that is uplifting and that builds each of us up uh, so that we can share our ideas and different topics of discussion. Today, since we're already on the subject, let's talk a little bit about perfectionism. Perfectionism to me is comparing myself, I guess, to others. Um, other vloggers that obviously are going to do it better than I could do it. Um, comparing myself to other crafters out there that, you know, their ideas are amazing and, and I just can't live up to that so then I'm not perfect. But perfectionism can also be uh, a mask. I have a sister named Tracy and she used to call me Tanya with the trowel. You know, the little trowel that you would um, put mud on bricks to build a brick wall. And she said that I would be building my little wall with my little trowel and it would be like everybody look at the wall look how beautiful the wall is see how smooth it is and how good of a job i did don't look behind the wall because it's a little bit of a mess back here and i don't want anybody to see that i am less than someone else less than a fictional person who is not real. We all have our struggles. Whether you are someone who's born organized and uh, loves to clean their home and, and then um, I would judge myself against that particular part of, of their life which is so unfair to me because yes, I clean my home, but I'm not that person that loves to clean. Uh, I'm that person that lets my dishes pile up for three days before I do them. If I'm not careful, I'm trying to be better. Three days now, I have had a clean kitchen for three days. You'd be amazed. <laughs> um, 
perfectionism. It's judging yourself against the best of other people. Judging your worst against their best. And that is not fair to you. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to the person that you're judging because they have a mess behind their wall too. And if we're really honest about things, we should be comparing the messes in our, in our world and the messes behind the wall and lift each other up and help each other be better, um, be more invigorated, be happier, and all of those things because we've stopped comparing ourselves to unrealistic goals of perfection. Thank you for joining me for my first video. I hope to see you again and uh, let us both together be imperfect in the most imperfect ways and we'll get better at what we choose to get better at. Side note, I don't clean my house all that great and I'm physically not able to do a lot of the scrubbing and getting down and stuff. So I have hired myself a lovely mother and daughter who come into my home and they clean my kitchen, they clean, um, they do the dusting, they vacuum and mop for me, and they scrub down those bathrooms, which is amazing. If I am not burdened by those other things, I can improve my quality of life in other ways. And I'm stoked about that. And you know what? It's not that expensive when you really think about it. I spend under $300 a month to have this mother and daughter come in twice a month and just get things scrubbed down because why not? I deserve it and I've decided that that's part of my um, self-care and we will get onto that subject of self-care in another video. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again.